Hello, and welcome back to <sighs> Growing FPV. This is part two to my video on the Radio Master radio. The Radio Master Zorro radio. Um, so today, or well, actually yesterday, I'm recording a day late. Um, I actually got out to fly my Radio Master physically fly, not just in a sim. Uh, it's been several days since my last video, and the reason behind that is Minnesota has the most amazing springs. Um, it's all rain and shit and snow and shit and wind and shit and a little bit more shit on top of the shit. So yeah, anyway, um, so I got out, flew a couple things. Uh, I flew about five, six packs um, on the on the Zorro. And I flew seven inch, two and a half inch, three inch, so on and so forth. I, I flew those around at, at a park that I'm generally always going to fly at. Um, and it was comfy. Uh, it was definitely a, a comfortable, comfortable uh, radio to fly, to use. Uh, with just the way that it felt, the way that it, it worked in my hands, how smooth the gimbals are. Um, I had no, no complaints whatsoever. The crappy, shitty, um, sucks major ass uh, doors on the back for the batteries uh, didn't give me an issue didn't have a problem with them they didn't like fall off or anything like that which which is good um, I don't have them glued or anything like that yet um, and who knows maybe I won't I mean if they're not gonna pop off on me as I'm flying uh, or give me any kind of issues I might just hold off on, on gluing these down um, so maybe they don't quite suck ass as I originally said so um, but yeah, no, no hand fatigue or anything like that. And granted, it was only like five or six packs. So, um, but I mean, even if I flown ten or twelve packs straight, I still don't get like hand fatigue off these things. Um, I would say, you know, for a game controller style radio, um, this is very comfortable. Works very, very well. Um, the switches are easily accessible. Uh, they feel like quality. I mean, what, what more can I really say? I mean, there's so many reviews out there. Um, but it's, it really, ultimately, it just comes down to quality control. Um, and the reason why I purchased this was because it's Radio Master. I mean, Radio Master does fantastic quality stuff. Uh, jumper, on the other hand. Um, <laughs> funny, funny little, little story here. Uh, last night... I had a couple of these things called cocktails and uh, I was actually trying to do a review and or on this, this actual video I was trying to do and um, I ended up frying this. I ended up frying my, my Express LRS module on the back and, and the way that I did it, well here, just watch. Popped open the case and I took out the ratcheting crap for the, for the throttle. Um, oh shit. See, here's another issue. Well, I just fried this. So, um, yeah, this just fried. Literally in my hands, this just fried. Uh, if you put it in backwards, it fries everything. Um, wow. Okay, that's great. <laughs> well, I guess I'm not using this thing. Um, I think it just fried my, uh, my Happy Model Express LRS. <laughs> it was literally just smoking in my hands. Wow. Okay. Now, is that quality control? No, I think that's more of a design flaw that, that they just didn't do a very good job with indicating which way the battery goes in and how the battery is held in here. Um, so yeah, I... Wasn't paying attention. I put the battery in backwards and it fried the uh, Happy Model Express LRS light module. Yeah, I, I can smell it. Just smells fried. Um, 
I mean, there was smoke coming out of it. I smelt it first, and then I saw the smoke. So, obviously, it's ruined. I haven't tried the module yet, but whatever. I don't use it anyway. But that's just what I'm talking about when it comes to, uh, you know, just quality. And that's the reason why I went with the Radio Master. I was thinking about getting the Jumper T Pro with the, was it the one watt ELRS built in? But I just kept coming back to my issues that I had with the T Light, and I'm like, okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna buy this guy. Um, I mean, you can buy CNC machined gimbals for this and upgrade the the, the current quality gimbals that's are, that are in there and make them even better. I mean, what other game controller style radio is offering that? I mean, I don't think any of them do. So, I mean, that, that's kind of shows you how good Radio Master does when it comes to radios and, and quality, other than these doors. I know I keep coming back to the doors because those just annoyed me. But uh, anyway, here is some of my footage from, from yesterday when I was flying. Enjoy. And thank you for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. Um, hit the like button. And I will see you in my next video. Okay, so just a little bit of a history. Uh, when I first started in FPV, about a year ago, I started with the Tronics QX7. And then I realized I didn't care too much for the size of it. So I switched to the Jumper t Light. And on both of these, I am running Express LRS. I have the expansion modules on there. But I have decided that I wanted to jump on to this guy. Um, now, as far as as far as far radios go, I mean, they kind of all work relatively the same. Um, once you put one of these modules on there, this radio is going to get the same distance, same range, same everything as, let's say, a TX-16S with the same module. I mean there's not much different other than other than the feel the ergonomics and like the gimbals that that's really where it comes in and the, the, the quality of it and free sky does make a, a decent quality radio i just don't like how this one feels um just don't uh the, the enter button is kind of going to shit on me so I, I didn't like that um the jumper t light it's pretty inexpensive um i think i, I paid less than 70 dollars for it um, and it's a great backup and it's a great for um, if you're gonna do sims and stuff like that I, I think it works fantastic for that um, but it just again it's the quality the quality of it just doesn't doesn't like stand out and it just the ergonomics of it it just it's not comfortable for me with pinching if I was back to still doing thumbs then this actually is phenomenal for a thumb flying if, if you're a thumb flyer this works great and it's a great price um, for a radio uh, this is actually pretty good for thumbs too but it's not as comfortable as the jumper t light for flying with just your thumbs but again I don't fly with my thumbs anymore so yeah plus it looks really cool so I wanted it so sue me all right so I decided that I got a window here to fly I'm gonna go all out bust out the seven inch um, seven inch is gonna be my first one going up I haven't flown it in a little bit but I feel like flying it today uh, I also brought my three inch Cinewhoop and my normal two and a half inch Protect so let's get this up in the air and see how this radio does <laughs>
Okay, so first flight thoughts um, after I flew this guy here, uh, which I absolutely always just love doing. Um, flew great. I mean, to be honest with you, it flew very similar to the control and everything like that. It was very similar to the to my other my other uh, radios. Uh, however, like an idiot, I forgot to bring my lanyard to connect to it, so kept finding myself going like this with it, um, which is fine. Um, I live with it. Ergonomically, feels great. Um, my hands feel good. I got I got plenty of movement with my fingers. Uh, I get plenty of, plenty of control for pinching. Unlike this one, where it just doesn't feel right in my hands for pinching. Uh, so yeah, first flight, 